In this video, we're going to show you how to draw from a PAL that is located in the wrist. The wrist is the most common area that you're going to find a PAL in our NICU. You're going to need an ABG kit, a 4x4, and a washcloth is helpful. The first thing you're going to notice about this site is there's two hubs. They look identical because they are. One is actually an IV, the other one is an art line. Make sure you select the right site. When you clamp it off, your waveforms on the monitor should go away. First thing you're going to do is you're going to wipe the hub clean with alcohol swab. You're going to then place your 2x2 two two underneath the hub. Clamp your line as close as possible you can to the hub that keeps the blood from getting diluted with flush. Carefully remove your needle from the end of the syringe, pull the cap off, and insert it into the hub and let it drip five drops. Place your needle onto the end of the needle there. Let it fill to 0.3. Ask your nurse if she needs a D-stick. Remove your needle carefully and replace it into your safety device. Make sure you unclamp the clamp. That's very important. You're going to open your syringe and you're going to pulsate some flush through that line Turn it back up, look at the monitor, and make sure your waveform came back. That's all there is to it. Just make sure you let five drops drip, because if you do a blood gas and your blood gas looks abnormal and the blood sugars are low, most likely you, you diluted your sample. That's another video from CDT Productions. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe. Thank you.